my name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb, where we are in what I suspect will be our final episode here. Uh, I am looking to continue cultivating cauliflowers, wherever possible. I do have to worry a little bit about what folks are eating still, so I'm going to go out here in order to pick up some more cauliflower seeds. Just spam out a huge amount of them, honestly. 46. Exactly how many I want. And then throw a couple of those in this box before we head back out. There's nowhere to poop around here. We need more outhouses. You want two more outhouses. Only for you, Jazzy. Only for you. Let's get... Uh, outhouse the first. And second. I mean, I guess... I kind of just want to put them near the other one. They can't really be too close to the other one. Man, I, I really want to redesign pretty much the entire camp. But there's not really a feature for tearing up the ground and moving everything across without just taking a huge amount of time in order to do so. So we won't. What we will do, though, is very quickly give him a sermon, knowing that we've got a little bit more loyalty out of him. Rawsome appears to have managed to re-reach old age here, but also is moving fast, so it's possible that that's not actually old age. We do have the ability to bring some back, so we should immediately do so. Never mind, that's definitely old age on Rawsome there. Okay. Moms, Ballard, Tristan, Eloise. I think we have anyone higher level dead at the moment. Yep, okay, Eloise. It looks like people might get reset a couple of levels when they die. I'm just feeling like a couple of these characters should be a little bit higher than they are. Okay. And then there's the ritual fast. Like a given. And then have them not work for a day and generate 80 faith? Sure. Just to try and manage my food resources a little bit extra, you know? And then final is extra faith in me, please. I think I have enough necklaces that if someone is a named character at this point, I should probably just have the ability to give them a necklace. So who among you is named but necklaceless? Uh, let's give you a gift. No, wait, that's Janabra. Where are you? Okay, Rawson, you have a necklace on. Jazzy has a necklace on. It's Bath and Eloise, you have a necklace on already as well. Abba, you don't have a necklace? I'm incredibly surprised. They'll generate devotion faster. They'll never sleep. They'll live twice as long as the usual life expectancy. Yeah, you know what, Abba? I've seen you die enough times. Why don't you stay alive for the rest of the game? Sean? I think you could probably hold on to a faster movement speed necklace here. David, you're also not wearing a necklace, and I think I have just the one for you in this moon necklace. Suits you excellently. Neko, you've got a necklace on. Else. Reno, Louise, Horace. I mean, people are probably out in different areas completing some tasks somewhere. Let's just finish all of these with golden bars. 
so we can start setting things up to become grand shelters down here. I mean, we're going to need more poop for this, but... Hopefully I can generate that, I guess. Also, with the two new outhouses, it really ought not be a problem. Okay. You know what? They'll just build that while I'm away. I'm getting out of here. So, we still have one more of the witness eyes that we need to get. The prophet witness eyes. Should be from Silk Cradle, which we could just immediately go into, and then batch after that, going back towards the docks. Oh, no! Wait, 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 can I leave immediately? Samora now smited. Since time immemorial has their presence weighed heavy upon the beasts within, their worshippers doth be well versed in the art of war making. Prithee, move with care. Short teeth doth not equate to a quick death. Do I have the ability to immediately run? Mm, I mean, touch of the revenant actually, maybe that's a really good reason not to. I was going to go and try and pick up some demons, but also maybe I do just want to save those demons to be available for a later date. Dang it. I'm so certain I was going to be able to persist safely. Alas. So it looks like we'd queued up a crit for the next action there. All right. So the tearing open of the earth also appears to be doing a small amount of damage here. So I should definitely still try and fire this directly through enemies. And yeah, with reasonable attacking, pretty much everything is comfortable here. In terms of our further output and input. room I've seen by far, actually. Thankfully I saw the little sign that you were going to be coming down to meet me in that corner. Dodged it out of the way just in time, and slapped you on the butt for having done it. First off, we'll start with the Offering Clownic. Give me a rainbow version of Ambrosia. 10% chance to heal when killing an enemy, I guess. Oh, Ambrosia, though! And it's not... It's not rainbow, but it is shiny. Increase curse attack damage by 1.5 times. Huge! Get him. Gold again. Um, I mean, that's just bones. I guess I would prefer to go to question marks. Hey, nice. This is what I was hoping for, Route 2. So I've got to do three rooms without taking any damage. Uh, I'll try and focus on doing further from afar, just knowing that's pretty reliable for us. Oops. Alright, that'll do. And again, come on. Mm, I mean that. 
Got in a single hit. It's nice. That's what? That's one of the... You're actually kidding me, right? I'm just taking damage walking into nothing there. Cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to take the necromantic hammer. Chance of slaying enemies gives him... <sighs> yeah. Uh, the run is now in extreme jeopardy due to an obstacle that doesn't exist on the screen. Game's just trying to keep it interesting. Keep me on my toes. And very effectively done. My toes are all I... All I'm engaging at this point. Excuse me. The brain has long since clocked out. Thank you. Just needed to minimize the amount of enemies that were on the screen at any one time. Okay. Didn't want to move too close to the center of the screen there in case I was about to take damage randomly again. Next card for us. I'm just going to take the extra heart, give myself some opportunity to survive. I, I, yeah, I guess I just failed Rital's challenge entirely. I'm not going to have... Well, cool. Hopefully I see Rital again later. I don't know if they can spawn multiple times in the same run. But that is... Uh, ridiculous. Two times now? Rital has <laughs> managed to bug for me? Why did that contain follower meat? Extremely suspect. I gag for a room like this. Okay. Retail again? Nope. But Vefar the boss is here. I'm actually going to have to attack with my own weapons at this point. As it turns out, definitely not enough damage on this to just walk into the room and instantly kill. I mean, it'll certainly try to get you close, though. Beautiful. I'll extremely, extraordinarily happily take those hearts. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go to the gold room, I guess. A tower card for me is the diseased heart here. Yeah, so we're just going to kill this and then bounce from the area, I guess. But I... I'm certain that if I want to have, like, full completion of storylines, I'm going to require getting her two. Vampiric Axe. Chance to heal. Yeah, I'd prefer to be attacking twice as fast right now. a little bit of security possibly in the boss fight. Oh, gosh. Definitely shouldn't have rolled towards that target at that point. 
basically asking to take that hit directly to the face. Alright, buddy. I'll just take a couple big swings at you. All my temporary health gone. <laughs> just in time for the hardest fight. Not that it is necessarily an exceptionally hard fight, but certainly the hardest that we are going to be running into in this dungeon. Level will replenish slowly. Gosh, no. Consume 25% less fervor. There's also the recharge there. I guess we could jump back in order to get that after the fight if we wanted to. Witness Alyssa. Please just stay at a reasonable range. Excellent. Surely your boss is gonna come back. <sighs> Have we bugged out the fight? That appears to be the case. Never mind! Welcome back! Woo! Boy, howdy, I was not looking to have, uh, not looking forward to how I was gonna have to salvage the episode of uh, just a bunch of bugs happened in a row. Thank you for basically refilling all of my fervor there. Am I not going to be able to fight the witness when they come back? Are they just going to immediately leave? I guess I should probably just get ready to start casting my curse into the center of the field. Oh my god, they, they leave so quickly. Trying to use the Vampiric Axe in the middle of this fight to heal up just a little bit. Come on. Come back. Three costs will kill you, I think. There we go. Just the two will do it. Beautiful. Yes, we'll take the beach roots. Yes, we'll take the absolute ridiculous abundance of them. And... Then it's time for us to leave. Which will help us also to finally clear out Plimbo. Which I think actually will get us our final crown? No, not crown. Our final uh, coat. Our final fleece. Uh, although that will happen through the teleporter. Oops. Before I leave here, we'll brush our teeth with a bottle of Jack. Couldn't find a single one in the entire area, you absolute teetotalers. I guess I'll have to go find a pirate. Alright. Plimbo. Is it Plimbo or Plinko? A smuggler nonetheless. Yeah, go on, mother. Aye. Plimbo starting to see your appeal. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Truly, safety and security is something Plimbo takes seriously, especially in my line of business. I could never bow me head to another. So don't think you'll be able to convert old Plimbo. Only two more to go. 
Take this as a token of me, thanks. Absolutely. This be the third day? You're even more deadly than Plimbo thought? Yeah, Plimbo needs safety for me trade, and the lamb can give that, but Plimbo's a wild soul. I serve no one but myself. But then again, the lot of witness could sink me ship, me trade, me, me way of life. Then what'll be left of old Plimbo? Fine! Force me hand! Bring me the last day and I'll bow me a deer on your ways. Oh, I'm not even going to leave before I pull one back out of the other pocket and present it to you. I'll take that. Yeah, this is for you. An eye for an eye indeed. Uh, did you forget about the whole pledge you just made? of your immortal soul to my cult? Because I'm here to collect. So you've really done it, you damn lamb. You slain all of the four witnesses. Blimbo's a creature to me word, so savvy with my business. I follow you. And Blimbo, all he asks is in return is you keep me what away safe and me trade secure. I'll even sell you some of me wares. No discounts, but... Don't get too bridge, uh, big for your britches, tiny lamb. Ah, I see, I see. So that's part of the pledge to us. Uh, where do we do our purchases from you? If indeed we can. Yeah, back in the other area, these were all sold out. I mean, maybe if I leave and then refresh the area. Okay. Doesn't look like anything changes there. So, Spore Grotto, Midas' Cave. It's certainly been three days since the last time I was in Midas' Cave. What's done here? Gods of Gold rejected your offering. I got fertilizer. So it's extremely expensive fertilizer, or it can give you more gold in return. The only problem being... By the time you have access to Midas, you probably don't need any more gold for the rest of the game. Um, yes. It's the cult we're looking to return to. Jazzy, I completed your mission. You are right, well honored. Yeah, don't need to collect any of the extra food. Uh, sure. Let's make some demons. So Jazzy and Silly both give the explosive damage here. I'll take Silly. Jazzy being closer to a level. And then we will also take more starting hearts on ever. We can't just go three with more explosive damage, right? Yeah, it won't even let me take them. Okay. Just needed to confirm. So Neko is automatically collects dropped fervor. Huge for us at this point, considering our method of engagement is mainly curses. Be looking for a ranged attacker. Hang on. Sean's got melee attack to nearby enemies. Range on Braino. Yep, no. The the person who was doing our range previously must have become deceased. I guess I could go with the more starting hearts. Yeah, I'm going to take Abatoth and Pain. Oh, I really like the ranged attack from that other character, though. I think it was Rawson, so... Rawson being old age here is, is, is preventing our usage. Well, actually, 
Can I do anything about that at the moment? I can do a sermon. I can get the extra fleece from the crown as well, completing that. I don't have a resurrection ready, but do I have the ability to send for awesome? Oh, I do have a resurrection ready. Never mind. Uh, we will send Rawson. And then immediately return you. Welcome back. Although now I'm not going to be able to use you as one of my demons, unfortunately, unless I have the ability to turn one of the other demons back into a person. Uh, the amount, oh, sorry, all hearts will be replaced by 1.5 times that amount of blue hearts. The Fleece of Fragile Fortitude. I honestly don't think I'm going to mess with that one at all. all right, let's go, Glass Cannons. There we are. It's Patricia that has the loyalty reward I really have to just collect before the end of the day, though. And then everyone else is going to be fine. Cool. Hmm. Although people don't like me over much at the moment. Eh, I guess that's fine by me. We can return after the first foray into the One Who Waits dungeon. I don't even know if there's going to be multiple forays into this dungeon. It may just be the one. The Gateway. Free the One Who Waits. Perform ritual, 20 out of 20! Just so happened to have exactly enough people to do it. A what? Divine Blast, Touch the Revenant. Knocks back enemies within your range while also damaging them. I'm gonna go for the Touch of the Revenant. I really, 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 really like that weapon. Goblin Daggers, deals significantly more damage. Necromantic and Crusader's Blade. Um, I'm gonna take the Godly Dammer. Godly Dammer. Yeah, I was wondering, how are they gonna make us powerful when we're gonna fight in just a single room, if that's gonna be the case? And it looks like they will give us a weapon choice going in. Vessel, I relinquish from you your service to the Red Crown. Return it to me and embrace the awaiting end. With this last sacrifice of my most devoted follower, I will be free. Finally, I will be free! Approach, Vessel, and lay down your life at my feet. Refuse. Never. This power is mine. So you have betrayed me, lamb. You've shunned my gospel and created yourself a false idol. That crown is mine by divine right. You think you have... You think to stand in the very face of death? Master... Allow me. I'll give this wretch a taste of your wrath. Hey, ball. Okay. 
So a taste of their wrath. Is this effectively like it's it's kind of like how the uh, the other dungeons would format themselves by showing you mini bosses that gave you a little bit of a clue of the upcoming boss. So the attack patterns there might be important later. I'll take care of the beast master. I'll cut that crown from its head. Hi, I'm. That'll do it. Man, this godly dagger is really amping out our damage. You think yourself victorious. You think yourself safe. Do not forget that you belong to me. Even after I slaughtered you, your pain will not end. You cannot escape me, even in death. Oh, I've been waiting. You think that's you? No, no, no. The one who waits is me. Thank you very much. Okay, so yeah, the previous characters were definitely giving us a bit of a tutorial of the kind of attack patterns we should expect. Which is cool. I like when that happens. Get him. Oh! Did you believe me defeated? Did you think that there would be an end to a being such as I? You thought yourself above a god! No, I just thought myself among them. Phase three. You are corrupt, false idol. Your corruption has no doubt spread. <laughs> Mini bosses fight the eyes. Oh, okay, so the challenge here is just manage multiple ranged enemies at the same time. Looks like. Pop one of those eyes, thank you. Almost stayed safe that whole time. Oh, I couldn't see that behind. Also, it is a little difficult to see the hit locations for projectiles when they are red and so is the entire background. Uh, this one, I'll, I'll, you know, draw a little bow around it by saying there's a couple things that I think could be improved in this game. And I also think it's a game that is, like, very, very apt in its construction for adding DLC. So I would not be surprised to see it expanded upon in those ways. Finish it. Mm. Really? That was me deciding to get aggressive because I was like, no, the enemy doesn't have any attack button here that can actually punish me for this. Okay. It looks like when there's just one eye left, it has different attack button.
Really? I'm honestly quite surprised by there being a phase even like that. You've supplanted me. A vessel no more. Instead, a crown-bearing deity. Damn lamb. I'm at your mercy. Are you to be a vengeful false idol or a merciful coward? No longer can you blame your vile acts on me. You weak, snivelling, foul thing. You wait. Wait. What? I think they were expecting us to murder them. While we're awaiting indoctrination. You know what? I think I'll let Silly take that task. You're the loyalty leader. Feel free to run induction. Sacrifice reborn vessel. Ascend once more and make true form. And take true to form. Something, something, something. Thank you for playing Noble Disciples. Please spread the good word near and far so that others may be blessed by the divine teachings of the Mighty Lamb. I feel I may have already managed to fulfill that by virtue having done this series. Now, I know we have not unlocked Ratu. However, we have unlocked the majority of the things in this game at the moment. So I think rather than chase down the idea of 100% completion, uh, I will leave the game the opportunity to be iterated upon and revisited at some point in the future. But for the moment, let's get one last sermon in. the moment. My name is Minerab City. The name of the game has been Cult of the Lamb. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below as well as on the screen around about now with all of my content on this game, past, present and future. Down below is YouTube's recommendation for what it thinks you should watch next and streaming past are the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. A special thanks to everyone in the fourth wall for being my Republic cult in this series.